Okay, part two of this video. So now we just need to do ifs. What would you do if you wanted an if type statement? Well, you would do an equal sign, type in the word if, close your parentheses. Now it's saying, what is your logical test? So meaning, I, I can't tell you exactly what we'd be doing, but what our logical test we might say is if our one box, so maybe the C, and then we'd say is equal, so I'm gonna type in the equal sign, is equal to another box. So now, if that is true, we need to do something. Let's say we're gonna have it say the word true. If it is false, we might say false and hit enter. So now it's gonna do that test. And as long as these boxes are different, it's going to say false. But if I go over here, well actually, and it's actually will always be false because if I type in 36, that number is going to change, so it'll never be true. Um, now, what if I change it to instead of being equal? What if I change it to less than? If C1 is well, sorry, greater than. There we go. If C1 is greater than A1, what should that be? Well, that's a true statement because C1 is 71, A1 is 36, so that should be true. So it should do whatever comes here first. Say true. So I hit enter, and it tells me it's true. Um, so there's lots of choices here. You don't have to always put in words. I could say, if this is true, respond with a number zero. And if it's false, respond with, you are ugly. Okay, so now, right now, it's a true statement. C1 is less than A1, so therefore, it is true. That's right, C1 is greater than A1. There we go, C1 is greater than A1, so it's true. But now if I change it to less than, now it's testing, is C1 less than A1? Now I hit enter. Oh, and it doesn't recognize you are ugly. Let me see if I can put that in parentheses, in quotes. Let's see if that'll fix it. Ooh, there we go. Now it says you are ugly. It's responding to me, it's being very hurtful and it has made me sad. So let's not do you are ugly, because that's just mean. Um, how about we could respond with one? There we go. So false statement responds with one. True statement responds with zero. Um, so hopefully that gives you an idea of how to kind of play with true false there are sorry with the if you know if here's you know the first part of it and you can see the first part of it's your logical test the, then you're going to put a comma for your next and then a comma for your next and the so it's the logical test then the next comma is what to do if it is true and then the next is what to do if it is false okay let's I hope that makes sense. I hope that makes sense. So like, for example, we could do something like what we might want to do is say your total amount of savings is $400,000. And you want to say, if my savings box is bigger than a million dollars, say you can retire. If it does not say that, say you must work more. Uh oh, it didn't like something I did. But anyway, there we go. All right, so now it's testing and it's saying I must work more because I don't have a million dollars. But now we did some math, we did, we saved, we invested in our Roth IRA and I have five million dollars. So now it's telling me I can retire. Okay, I hope that helped. I hope that made sense. Uh, have fun, play around and we'll see you on the next video.